So hi, Micro Hunter here, Oliver. Some people call me Oliver as well. Today I want to talk about a slightly different topic. As a matter of fact, I would like to ask for your support and your help because I want to start a new project and this project can only be realized as a community. It cannot be only up to me because there are quite a bit of financial costs involved. What do I want to do or what did I come up with? I want to create an image library of micrographs, pictures taken through a microscope um, and I want to put this image library under the Creative Commons license. This means that all those pictures and maybe also videos that uh, are published there should be made freely available to anyone who would like to use them. So even commercially, um, so for example maybe Broadcasting Corporation publishes private people, educators, teachers, it doesn't matter. Anyone who needs uh, to have nice pictures of micrographs and also of course amateur microscopists, let's not forget about this uh, important group of people they should have access to very high quality micrographs for whatever they want to use it a nice desktop background on the computer or maybe some people want to print uh, the picture to hang it on the wall and in order to make this possible I want to buy a new microscope and uh, the thing is, is it's not going to be any microscope. It's got to be one that actually offers a significant improvement um, of the equipment uh, that I already have um, and that many other people already have. Um, and uh, as a matter of fact, it uh, should be so good that the images that are produced indeed have a publication quality. And uh, this is uh, kind of the idea is a long-term project. Um, this means that uh, it's probably not going to be myself only who's going to contribute. Maybe other people are also going to um, ultimately uh, build up uh, this database of images and videos. So I hope that this is going to be a community project. But in order to uh, produce extremely high quality images which go beyond that what regular bright field microscopes are able to produce, I need to buy a new microscope. And if you can identify with this project then I would like to ask you for your support. And now I want to become a little bit uh, more specific. I talked uh, to a representative from the um, company Olympus uh, just a few days ago on the telephone um, and then also an email and uh, he sent me an offer of a microscope that uh, essentially is good enough and uh, powerful enough to make very high quality images even of very fast moving microorganisms. So for example paramecia ciliates they can move quite quickly and therefore it can be difficult to get a very sharp image of them because of motion blur. And what I have therefore asked this is I asked for an offer and uh, I've received the offer. Um, it's four pages long um, and uh, yeah you might wonder why four pages here yeah, because it lists all of the uh, components that are required uh, yet for the microscope you don't get a complete package but actually they put the microscope together for your own needs and ultimately the microscope is yeah is not so um, affordable for myself as a private person it's around uh, 27,000 euros which is around 29,000 US dollars and uh, this uh, microscope has a differential interference contrast and then this is a so-called the king class of, of microscopy one would almost say. It gives uh, even unstained specimens uh, that are otherwise almost impossible or very difficult to see can be seen in a very very attractive and almost three-dimensional way and uh, if I take a lot of pictures of these then these pictures will be of sufficiently high quality that also the public interest in microscopy at least that's what I hope will be further enhanced because the pictures are simply so nice. Um, and uh, those pictures uh, I want to put of course uh, as I mentioned under the Creative Commons license um, on maybe on a separate uh, website maybe on Wikipedia um, and it should be a quite a sizable image uh, repository that is kind of my intention for the next couple of years and I hope that this way um, we can also uh, promote a little bit microscopy as a hobby. You see I'm a teacher I'm a biology teacher now for 21 years and uh, I consider education not only the studying of theoretical material like I have to teach in school but it's generally also an awareness of what's going on around us and uh, to that we also have I'm also counting of course the microscopic world water life for example microscopic water life um, also the intricate details of plants and animal tissues all of these things are 
um, yeah, kind of closed off from the general public. Um, and uh, I hope kind of with my YouTube channels that you're watching and um, that I've tried to promote also this aspect of biology. And I kind of want to push this a little bit to the next level again and uh, go even more a little bit public uh, by creating such an image library. And for this reason, I would like uh, to ask um, for your help and your contribution if you can identify with this project. And for this reason, I have started a, a GoFundMe campaign. All of the links um, are on the bottom below. And I would like to ask for your contribution and uh, we'll, we're gonna see how far this is actually going to take us. In the last uh, couple of weeks, I have also seen that there are now already several people who have already started to donate money to the YouTube channel um, over Patreon. And I would like to say a really big thank you. I've also uh, listed them on my website, um, but I also want to list, of course, all of those people who are uh, willing to contribute to this microscope. I'm also, of course, going to mention them um, on, on the website. If you can identify with this project, I would be very grateful for your support. Let's see how, uh, yeah, how far we're able to, to reach this goal together um, because uh, this is essentially one of my passions as well, maybe just like yours. Thank you very much for your patience and uh, happy micro hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye-bye.